Hi everyone, my name is Tracy with Yoga with Tracy. I am on a balcony today on a, a nice little Muskoka trip and I wanted to share with you a little yoga sequence that I like to do when I'm on holiday because not every time you have a mat that you can bring with you but there usually are always chairs. So you're gonna to come to the edge of your chair. Both sits bones need to be nicely planted firmly on the chair. I like to have both of my feet firmly planted on the ground for security. We're always gonna remember that we're honoring and respecting the body. So at any time you're feeling uncomfortable with any of these moves, we're gonna slow down or stop. Okay, we're gonna have our shoulders stacked right on top of our waist, our knees right on top of our ankles, and let's go ahead and pretend we're drawing a string at the top of our head to lengthen up the crown of our head. So we're lengthening our spine, and we're gonna try to lengthen the back of our neck. We're gonna draw our chin slightly into the chest. Okay, now we've got great posture. And from here, we're gonna gently close our eyes, take a nice deep breath in through the nose, and out through the mouth. We'll do that two more times. Breathing in and out. We're allowing ourselves to arrive, to connect. One more breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. Okay, you can gently open up your eyes now. I'm gonna start to roll the shoulders back nice and slowly. So I like to start slow because sometimes when you're sleeping in um, gnaw your bed, it just you wake up grumpy and the body's all achy. So we're gonna just roll out the shoulders now. We're gonna continue this. We're gonna do a couple more breathing as we do so. And then let's go ahead and roll them inward. Okay, noticing how it feels, the difference between rolling them back and rolling them forward. So reminding ourselves that yoga is the practice of mind, body, and whole breath awareness. So how does the, those shoulders feel? Okay, so a lot of times I'm just gonna move and shake and a little bit of like getting all those little grumpies out. That's how I start, okay? We're gonna take our left arm all the way up, a nice big stretch right up to the sky. Breathe in here. We're gonna drop our shoulders, inhaling, and then exhale, release. Okay. Inhale, lengthening the spine, reaching up to the sky. Breathe in, relax those shoulders, and breathe out. Whew. Inhaling, lengthening, and exhaling, releasing. Breathing in, lengthen all the way up, and exhale all the way down. We're gonna do one more on each side to make it three. Inhale, lengthen all the way up, maybe drawing the belly in, and exhale down, okay. Breathing in, lengthen all the way up, up, up. Relax those shoulders and breathe out. Perfect. I'm gonna take our arms, both arms all the way up. High five to the sky. Actually, not high five, high 10. Breathe in and then exhale, breathe out. Okay, two more. Breathing in and exhale, breathe out. One more time, breathing in and out. Okay, this prepares our body and our spine. We're gonna have our hands onto our thighs. I want you to open up the chest, roll the shoulders back, and start to stick your tailbone out. Lift up your heart, lift the chin up. Nice little cow, seated cow pose. Breathe in, and then exhale, round the back. Breathe out. Okay, again, breathing in and out. I'm gonna go ahead and turn around and show you the side profile here so you have an understanding how we wanna open our chest, kind of stick the tail out, open up our hearts, roll the shoulders back, breathe in, and then exhale. See how I'm rounding the spine? I'm giving my spine a nice big stretch. Okay, breathing in and exhale, breathing. Okay, we're gonna do one more together. Inhaling, open up the heart. Exhale, breathe out. Perfect. We're gonna take our hands and just release them, shake them out a little. A lot of times, as you may know, I practice Chinese medicine, so I always like to shake out or just 
kind of smack out any of that tension out of the body. So you're gonna shake out any of that tension out of the arms, out of the shoulders, out of those elbows, out of those fingers. And I want you to take those fingers and just shake them out in front, okay? And breathe. Don't hold your breath, just shake it out, okay? We're also strengthening our arms as we do this. Now start to shake it out at the top. Shake, 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 shake. Now back to the center, shake it, relax those shoulders. I wanna shake down, perfect. And now I want you to start to tap on the top of your shoulder. This is an acupressure point, it's called gallbladder 21. It's a great acupressure point. And I want you to start to tap all the way down your arm. Perfect. And then turn your palm over and start to tap and smack on the inside of your arm. Perfect. So we're gonna go back to that gallbladder 21 point and we're gonna continue to go down again, tapping it down to the fingers and all the way up. So the idea here is that we're moving, we're um, stimulating the chi, our life force, and moving our blood. Okay, now pressure, nice smooth, gentle, um, smooth with gentle, firm pressure, gentle and firm, all the way down and all the way back up. We're gonna do that one more time. Breathe and back up. And then just place your hands onto your thighs. I want you to close your eyes and notice the difference between that arm that we just tapped and rubbed and the arm that had nothing to it done. What does that feel like? Notice the difference. This one feels, ooh, like it's a little buzzy. So we're gonna do it on the other side. Let's go ahead, tap it out. Gallbladder 21 at the top of your shoulder. And a lot of us hold tension here. Has anybody ever felt when you're stressed out, tired, your shoulders and neck are hurting? Well, this is a great acupressure point to tap on yourself. And now let's go ahead tapping on the outside of the arm, the yang channel, and on the inside of the arm, all the way up. Okay, tapping again, breathing, and down, all the way down, and all the way back up. Again, tapping, and let's go ahead and smooth it out, nice pressure here, all the way up, nice and gentle. I like to say gentle, but Truly, it's a little bit with um, a little bit of firm pressure. I just don't want you to hurt yourself, okay? Nice, you'll know the pressure that you need to use. Okay, notice how they both feel. Take a deep breath here, breathe in and out. Okay, shake it out. Let's go ahead and wiggle those fingers, okay? Well, a lot of times when my body is feeling a little grumpy, even the finger joints when I wake up are starting to feel a little wacky. So we're gonna try to incy wincy spider almost all the way up to the sky and then all the way down. And then if you have um, ever experienced practicing the piano or playing the piano, pretend you're playing a grand piano. And so when you play a grand piano, it's you need to press pretty hard and firmly. So you're going to just articulate those wrists and press into those fingers at the same time. Okay, release. <sighs> okay, let's roll them out. Five, four, three, don't forget to breathe. Two, one, other way. Five, four, three, two, one. Now interlace those fingers any which way you want. We're gonna roll those wrists out. Beautiful, one way. Let's go the other way. And let's go ahead and do our roller coaster. Don't forget to breathe, relax the shoulders, keep on sitting nice and tall, and we're going the other way. We're giving our whole body a nice little work out. Okay, did you go the other way? Was it the same? Now I want you to stretch in front, draw the belly in, look, we're back into our cat pose. Now lift all the way up, open your chest up, look up to the sky, reach up to the sky, breathe in, and then take the hands behind the head, and relax, open up the heart a little bit more. Expand those elbows here, breathe in, and then come back to neutral spine and release the hands, breathe out. Okay, 
Okay, we're gonna do that one more time. We're gonna interlace the fingers. I want you to breathe here. Inhale and then exhale. Draw the belly back to the spine, to the back of the chair. Good, now breathe in, reach all the way up. Reach, 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 draw the belly in and then take those hands behind the head. Breathe out. <sighs> Continue to breathe here. <sighs> Come back to neutral spine to draw the belly back a little bit. Make sure those shoulders are on top of the waist and then release, breathe out. Good, how did it feel to open up the chest like that? Let's go ahead and take the arms all the way up. Interlace the fingers behind. Breathe in, open the chest up again. Inhale, exhale, come back to neutral spine. Relax those shoulders and let's go over to the right side. Okay, we're gonna try to keep that elbow, top elbow up. Relax the bottom shoulder, breathe here. In and out. Okay, inhale, tight belly, tight belly, come back to center. We're gonna go to the other side. This is my grumpy side. So I can't bring my left elbow up all the way to the sky, but you're gonna try your best. You're gonna relax that um, elbow on the bottom, relax the bottom shoulder. I'm gonna breathe here in and out. To come out of this pose, we're gonna tighten our belly muscles, come back up to center, breathe, breathe in, and then exhale, release. Okay, now our neck is starting to probably feel this, so we're gonna gently do some circle rolls. Okay, so we're going to lower and open up and down, nice and slow. Don't forget to breathe. Okay, other way, gently, slowly. Now we don't do anything that our body says no to. Okay, we only rotate, articulate any of our body parts however we need to. Good, come back to center. Let's go ahead and turn to our right. Relax the shoulders. Remember, your shoulders are on top of the waist. Keep that belly drawn in. And let's come back to center. Okay, let's go to the other side. Breathe. Good, come back to center. Let's go ahead and take our right ear to our right shoulder. Ah, relax this opposite left shoulder and let's take the left fingertips out to the side send a little bit of energy through those left fingertips breathe here inhaling exhale good now let's take the opposite hand on top of the head nice and gently the head is very heavy so we're gonna be very careful here okay, we're gonna release the hand down and let's go ahead and turn to look down to our right hip. Place the hand to the back of your head softly and very gently, looking down to the hip, breathing in and out. Sit nice and tall still, breathing in. And then we're gonna release the hand, breathe out. To come out of this pose, we're gonna rotate the head toward the navel and then breathe in, look up. How was that? Okay, let's go to the other side. Okay, so I'm now taking my left ear to my left shoulder, and now I'm sending energy out through those right fingertips, just to kind of get a nice deeper stretch into this neck and my traps. Feels great. Okay, are you breathing? Good. We're gonna take our hand on top of our head gently, slowly, soft shoulders. Our head is pretty heavy, so if the hand on the head is too much, of course you're not gonna do it. I'm gonna release the hand. I want you to go ahead and look down to that left hip. Replace the hand if you're having the hand on the head on the back of the head. A nice gentle stretch here, breathing in, looking down to that hip. Breathing out, inhale, exhale, release the hand. To come out of the pose, we're gonna look back to our belly button and inhale, look up. Well done, okay, let's roll the shoulders out. That's where we started, didn't we? One, two, and three, perfect, okay. 
So I feel like our upper body has gotten kind of a good workout, even the fingers. Let's now start to work on the lower part. We're gonna go ahead and take our left um, leg. Okay, so we're gonna take it up with our hands and down. Okay, so you'll notice maybe you need to readjust yourself onto your chair. So go ahead and do that. Tighten your belly muscles as we do this because we're working our core, working the whole body. Shoulders still stacked on top of the waist, crown lifted, okay? Posture is very important when we're doing chair yoga. Let's take the other leg. Breathing, inhale, and then exhale. Okay, we're gonna do that again. Lift, tight belly, tall spine, and release. So we're compressing our psoas here. Breathe in and breathe out. Good, again, in and out. Breathing in and out. Now, what is it gonna feel like? Since we've compressed, now we wanna stretch, okay? So we're gonna breathe in and now take your hands to the chair, breathe out. Lift and down, okay? So how did that feel for you? Do you need to start with your hands on the chair or do you like taking your hands, pulling it to have that extra little oomph? Inhale, you gotta tighten your belly muscles, breathe out, extend forward, inhale and down. Okay, we're gonna do two more sets of that. In, tight belly, breathe out, stick your foot out, breathing in and release. Inhale, tight belly, tall spine, breathe out, extend the foot in front, breathe in and release. Okay, one more set. In, breathe out, in and out, inhale, exhale, in and release. All done, we did it. Okay, now I want you to take that right knee up and then cross your ankle on top of your thigh from here. Okay, so this is gonna start working on our nice hip area. Okay, so how does that feel right now? We're gonna go ahead, lift our spine up, take our hands on top of our legs here, breathe in, I want you to hinge forward. And as soon as you start to feel something into this hip space, we're gonna round our upper back and melt here. So you'll notice I'm melting, melting forward, inhaling, exhaling, okay, breathing, breathing in. I'm relaxing my belly breathing out and I'm gonna breathe in one more time I'm gonna directionally breathe and focus on sending my breath to this hip breathe out good tighten your belly muscles come on back up inhale press back up and then exhale I want you to cross those legs so you don't have a window between the legs here perfect now if you need to readjust yourself onto the chair go ahead and do that now awesome now I want you to take the left hand, oh, that's my left hand, your right, your right hand to the outside of your right leg, okay? Oop, left leg here. And the other hand's gonna stay right behind on the chair, okay? Nice and close to your tailbone. I want you to breathe in, sit up nice and tall, and breathe out, twist, okay? Keep your chin right over your sternum. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, twist, relax the shoulders. Inhale, exhale, twist. One more time, breathing in and twist. I want you to stay in this twist and what you're gonna do is just look over that right shoulder, okay? So you're gently looking over, breathing in and out. Our shoulders are relaxed. Maybe close your eyes, breathe in, out. One more breath in, and on the exhalation, unwind the torso. Perfect, okay. From here, I want you to take the hands, help your leg up, and release it. Okay, give yourself a little shake and jiggle. Da -da 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 -da. And then let's go to the other side. Okay, so we did our left leg. Let's go ahead and do the right. We're gonna lift it up, breathe in, cross it over. Make sure it's not on that kneecap, but it's above onto the thigh. Okay, sit up nice and tall, belly drawn in, 
crown of the head lifted to the sky, lifted, lifted, and we're gonna hinge at the waist, just as we did the other side. Belly's nice and tight. Once you start to feel something into that hip space, we're gonna round our upper back and meld forward for three conscious breaths. Breathing in, out. See if you can breathe in. And then think about directly sending breath to this lovingly beautiful hip. One more time, breathing in and out. Good, tight belly to come on up. Tight, tight belly, come on up, 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 up. And release, breathe out. Okay, we're gonna cross the legs now. Okay, let's go ahead and take this right hand Place it nice and close to your tailbone on the chair behind you. We're gonna take the other hand to the outer side of that leg, okay? Sit up nice and tall, both sits bones still on that chair. Breathe in, lift and lengthen. Chin on top of the sternum here and twist, okay? Again, breathing in, lift and lengthen. Exhale, twist. Again, breathing in, lift, lengthen. And exhale, twist. Good. Are your shoulders relaxed? We'll relax them a little bit more. It's a nice upper thoracic twist to the spine. And then we're gonna just gently look over the opposite shoulder. I love this stretch because I have shoulder and neck tension. And this just feels so good. So we're gonna close our eyes, breathe in and out. In and out. One more breath in and on the exhalation, unwind. Well done. Let's remove that leg now. Take your hand, release it, and give yourself a little jiggle and shake. I'm actually going to take my hands on top of the chair, slouch a little, shake out my legs, and then I want you to find a nice planting of your feet down onto the ground and see if you can open up the chest lift yourself up do a little mini version of tabletop with a chair so breathe in and out one more breath in and out release let's see what does it feel like now to do cow and cat on the chair after we've kind of worked the whole body i want you to breathe in and exhale breathe out again breathing in and exhale, breathe out. Okay, so now we're gonna try, after that cow and cat, let's just try to move the whole body now. We're gonna take the arms all the way up, breathing in, exhale, breathe out. We're gonna take our hands behind us and rob into our lower back here, okay? This is where our kidneys are, and in Chinese medicine, this is the foundation of our body. We're gonna warm it up, keep it nice and warm, even if it's warm outside, okay? So we're gonna warm it up, and then open up the chest, draw the belly in, breathe in here, and then exhale. We're gonna take our hands around from the back to the sides of the body and go ahead and bend all the way down. Okay, and then take your hands on the inside of the legs, come on all the way back up. Ooh, okay, we're gonna do that again. We're gonna breathe in, lift all the way up. Exhale, arms down, take them behind you, nice little rub. Inhale, chest up. Exhale, come on all the way down pressure on the sides of the legs and then inhale pressure on the inside of the legs come all the way up roll the shoulders back do you think you got it let's try to do these a few more times so we're going to do three more in a row inhale lift all the way up exhale down inhale rub open the chest up keep on breathing and then exhale pressure on the outside of the legs down tight belly pressure on the inside legs come on all the way up roll the shoulders back okay again breathing in exhale out rub 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 breathe in and exhale breathe all the way down pressure on the inside of the legs come on all the way up that was two last one breathing in and out rub 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 in and out all the way down and then come on all the way up tight tight belly and then roll the shoulders out Okay, how's that feel? Go ahead and just shake everything out 
And then now I want you to work on the toes and the feet, okay? So um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that right leg, left leg, pardon me, up, cross it over, and I want you to smack on the bottom of your foot. And then take your thumbs and go ahead and press on the bottom of your feet. And anybody that's had a pedicure knows that this, those foot massages feel so good. So in Chinese medicine, you know, reflexology, there are acupressure points on the bottom of the foot and they connect to different parts of your uh, body and the organs. So we're gonna go ahead and press on the bottom of our feet. And if there's a sore, tender spot, I'm gonna actually encourage you, as long as it's not too painful, to just kind of give it a little extra there. Just kind of press, press, press a little bit more. Don't forget to breathe. Okay, and then I want you to kind of squeeze each one of your toes. You're gonna give it like a little love pinch, okay? So good, squeeze, 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 maybe a little twist, squeeze, little twist, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And then now interlace the fingers in between the toes. We're gonna to rotate our ankles, okay? And then rotate it one way and the other way, okay? Try to keep a nice posture with the belly nice and firm so that we're always supporting our lower back. Now release the fingers from the feet. <sighs> Give your feet, toes a little wiggle, wiggly, 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 and then release, okay? We're gonna take the other foot up, the leg up, and cross it over. I'm gonna go ahead and tap on the bottom of our foot here. And then I'm gonna take my thumbs, and I'm gonna press, 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 press from the bottom of my foot, right into the ball, right into the center, right into the heel area, and of course, if you find that little kind of funny grumpy spot, you're gonna just give maybe an extra little, little pressure, little love pressure, okay? And then a little pinchy love squeeze here. We're gonna do each toe, biggie, big toe, second toe, middle toe, ring toe, and baby toe, little squeeze. And then take your fingers, we're gonna interlace those toes and fingers and rotate the ankle, okay? Make sure you have nice posture, supporting your spine with a nice firm belly, okay? And we're rotating one way and the other way. Never holding our breath, always breathing. And I'm gonna undo those fingers from the toes and release. Now, do you remember how we were kind of rubbing and smacking on their arms at the beginning? We're gonna do the same for our legs. So this time, instead of an open hand, I'm gonna just kind of bend my fingers, curl my uh, thumbs in, and just gently tap on the sides, and then back up. So I'm working on my thighs first, okay? Now, if it was okay for you, and you're okay to continue to bend down, we're gonna continue to bend all the way on the sides of our legs. Remember, tight belly, pressing, coming on up, okay? Down and up. Now, if that was too, um, it's too much, too aggressive going down, and up, then I want you to take one leg at a time, holding the hand, holding with firmly with your hand, tight belly, supporting your spine, and you're gonna continue to tap using that nice little gentle fist. Okay, switch hands, outside and on the inside, okay? And maybe you might wanna try both, both styles, taking one hand at a time Okay, feels good. Now, just gonna shake everything out. Take your hands back onto your thighs and take a breath here. Notice how your whole body feels. What does it feel like from the beginning of your practice? Did the physical practice of yoga, even if it's yoga on a chair, did it help to release a little bit of stress, a little bit of tension out of the mind, out of the body? Go ahead and close your eyes, relax the shoulders, keep the spine nice and tall, and let's close our practice with a few breaths to soak in and absorb all of the great benefits of our chair yoga practice today. So let's go ahead, close the eyes, breathe. So two more, inhaling. Well done today, everyone. It was a pleasure practicing yoga with you. Thank you for letting me be part of your day. Namaste.